London. 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 Hello, welcome to another tutorial here. So scratching is one of the best skills that a person or a DJ must have so that he can unlock and impress the audience using the scratches when mixing for them. So for you to be able to get sub and professional scratches in virtual DJ, these are the things you need to do. Okay. First of all, you need to set cue points on your tracks. Okay. Set cue points to either the first bar of the track or where the artist starts to sing. So this is how you can do it. So first load a track on deck A. So when I start to play this track, you will hear how it will sound. So where can you possibly set a cue point so that you'll be able to scratch better on this track here? So what a DJ will do, I know first of all, they will set the cue point to the first bar, which is this one here. I get it. Yeah, you are supposed to set the cue point to the first bar of the track, but you can shuffle through the track and make sure you set the cue point to a point where you feel the scratch will hit better. And then when you drop the track, it will start playing at a good point of it. Okay, so this is what you can do. So first, I will set a cue point at this point of the track here. So to set it, I will click on Ctrl 1 on the keyboard. And then you will see the cue point will be set to that point there. Or else, I will head over to the pad section here. And then click on this drop down arrow. And then I will choose hot cues. After selecting hot cues here, click on the first box here to set the first cue point on your track like this. Click on it and then it will be set to this cue point here. So what I recommend DJs to do is to set multiple cue points on the track so that you can choose a point in a track and you start playing it from that point. Okay, so for this track, like when I listen through, this is what I will hear. Okay, another cue point that I can set is next here. When I play it, you will hear. So I will set the second cue point at this point here, like this. So let me load another track on deck two. And then I show you where you can possibly set the first cue point on this particular track. Let me load this track here to deck two. And then when you start to play this track, you will not hear anything. Okay. So what I want you to do is to listen through and then point out the point where you want to set the first cue point of the track. Okay. So here I will set the first cue point here. As usual, leave some small space there and then click on Ctrl 1 or come to the hot cues pad here and then click on the first box to set the cue point there. So this is how it will sound. Okay, now that I've shown you how to set the cue points on your track, the next step is to set the crossfader curve to scratch. Okay, so to set the crossfader curve to scratch, head over to settings and then go to options. So here I want you to search for curve. You'll be given these options here. Normally, the crossfader curve is set to full which is the default setting, but I want you to change it to scratch so that your crossfader scratches or the stub scratches you produce using the crossfader and the scratch will sound so sub and professional, okay? So change it to scratches here, and then you will hear that your scratches will change and it will sound professional. So the third thing that I want you to change or to set is to set the scratch filter quality to a maximum point okay so head back to settings and then again go to options so here search for scratch 
filter quality scratch filter quality the normal value for the scratch filter quality is supposed to be 12 but you can change it to any preference of your choice as long as it doesn't exceed the 32 point okay i will set mine to 32 but setting it to a higher value means that your cpu usage will increase because it needs a stronger cpu to be able to increase the quality of your scratch so after setting it to the maximum point exit this window here and then now your scratches should sound so professional like this let me load a different track here and then we hear how it will sound you set the cue point and then this is the scratch Brody girl with the sing song, yeah So another thing before I forget You need to set your scratches to better values So what I mean by that is the key you use for scratching Should have better values in it, okay So for example mine, I use these values here Let me go to settings, controllers and then advanced editor so these are the two scratch mappings that I use on my keyboard here. So the first one is this. I use the 60 milliseconds value here for the first scratch mapping. And then for the second scratch mapping here, I use the 100 milliseconds value. So those are the two that I use. You can set yours as mine here so that you get professional scratches. So that is it for this tutorial. Go out there, mix for people, make people happy, increase your skills, and make people happy with your mixes. Steve here, see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.